So, uh, okay, you went and you got a whole bunch of battery, uh, you go out, you get a whole bunch of battery packs, laptop packs, and you rip them apart and you pull these out. Cool, now what? The next thing you need to do, grab your multimeter, test them. A volt or two, uh, set it aside, put it in a box to be charged. If it's in the millivolts or if you, you, know, you put your positive lead on this side, your negative lead on this side, and everything looks appropriate for the circuit, but the voltage on the multimeter is negative, put it in a box to be recycled. If you connect it together and it goes to zero volts, recycle it. If it gets in the millivolts, it's probably too far down uh, to be recovered. You know, uh, anything in the, I don't know, uh, anything less than a volt, I put in the recycle box. Um, hadn't really had any luck bringing anything up in the millivolt range to be worth anything. So I set it aside. Don't, don't bother wasting your time. So separate those out. Anything with a volt or better, put it in a box. Take it out, put it on a charger. Okay, well, how are we going to charge them up? You need to get a couple of these, at least a couple of these. These are, let's see, I've got one here with a name on it. A couple of these from different places. But this one, it's called a TP4056, 4056. Um, these guys take 5 volts in, 1 amp, and the output up to 4.2. But it takes that and we'll charge one of these guys up to the appropriate 4.2 volts, the maximum voltage you want to charge these to, and then shut off. A little light here. It's got a little red light and a little green green light. And then it'll switch over to green, and it'll it'll you know, maintain it until till you come over to to uh, disconnect it and uh, put the next one on. So um, for me, for what I did, I just took and made two leads, and uh, on the end of the leads, yeah, come here, you. I soldered some little neodymium magnets. Um, they are really quick, strong connection. Uh, like this isn't plugged in to anything, so having these touch isn't a big deal. And what you take, you know, your positive end is the side that has the the ring, the indention on it, you know, or actually the the cap here is positive, and pretty much the entire outside surface of this is the negative uh, portion of the battery. Now, if you take it apart and, and this this area around here is damaged or whatever, and uh, it could risk like having something touch the edge of it, you know, and short out. Um, set that aside in a box uh, and come back to it later. Uh, and, and, you know, maybe you got to put some piece of tape on it or something to keep that uh, insulated from, from grounding out. But, you know, if you're going to make a battery pack of any size, it's best to keep everything the same, nice and neat. The uh, So the magnet snaps on there, snaps on there. And you just plug that into like a cell phone charger, five volt, one amp, and it goes to town charging it up. It's pretty awesome. Um, these are about a buck a piece. I got five of them off of Amazon for five bucks. Um, so I've wired up a handful like this, and then you know if you've got <clears throat> if you have the parts. Uh, like, like I pulled apart a Ryobi battery pack here, and on the bottom they have this this little uh, TL1. It's a thermal limiter, um, which is this guy here. In fact, this this tray came off of the bottom of this. I'm just reusing it. I unbolted it, took it off, and turned it over so I can set the cell in there and charge it up. So. I glued the thermal limiter back into the housing here, uh, soldered up the leads, and I can put and like that. It's kind of all wonky right now. Um, plug it in, and if this gets too hot, and that gets you know starts to go critical on me if it's a bad cell or whatever, the thermal limiter will trip and stop the power coming and charging the battery. So that'll, that'll disconnect and allow the whole thing to cool down. All right, you've charged your batteries up. Now it's time to discharge them. You've got 
a couple different options. The only one I'm going to cover now is using one of these. Uh, this is a Venom Pro Charger. It's an older model that they have. Uh, I don't even think they make them anymore. Pretty much everybody now that I've seen, looked around, um, they use the IMAX B6 charger. And it's uh, pretty much identical to this. The, the internals, the guts of this thing look exactly the same. Uh, everything, the menus, everything's the same. So all the settings are the same. So what you'd want to do is set it up into a LiPo discharge mode. It's a one amp draw and you want it to discharge to a three volt, which is a one S, one series uh, battery. So you're gonna take the cell, just one, and then you're gonna connect. Now I'm using, uh, on for this one, I'm using two neodymium magnets, some pretty strong ones, <clears throat> but they just snap onto the positive and the negative of the battery. And that's all I do for that connection. Now you hit start, and it flashes and then checks the battery and takes off. It ramps up the amperage in the first 10 seconds up to one amp and you can see the voltage drop as the one amp is being pulled out of the battery or the circuit allows a one amp draw on it. And then this number here is the milliamp, amount of milliamps that have been used out of it uh, approximately that's a that's the number you're going to use when this is done when this d drops all the way to three volts you will have the number of milliamp capacity that was in this battery displayed here and then this will be how long it took to get there uh, good batteries like these are typically these have been pretty good to me these pink ones as I just took these two off and this one was 2380 and this one was 2082. So the, both of these are over two amp hour uh, cells, which is pretty good uh, considering they came out of old dead laptop batteries off of eBay. So, okay, we're gonna let these guys run. We'll come back and we'll show you what this actually did. Okay, so when you come back to it after the two hours or so, or it might be an hour if it's only a 1000 milliamp or uh, it all depends on how long it takes the discharger, the battery, to discharge down to 3 volts. It's all based on time and the amount of amperage coming out of it. So we have it set at 1 amp. So that makes the, the math easy. And it's just the milliamp rating of the battery translates to this number right here. So this battery, I will take, I'll take off the magnets and I will write on the outside of the housing, the casing of it, the 2072. Then I'll take this and I'll put it in my box of 2000 or better uh, milliamp hour uh, batteries and I'll move on to the next. So you just do that over and over and over until you get through boxes and boxes of batteries that you have pulled out of old laptop batteries. So rinse, repeat. Just keep doing the same thing over and over and over. This process of discharging the battery seems to be the longest process. Uh, I was able to go through with my several different battery chargers and get them all charged up to the 4.2. It just takes two hours per cell to discharge them. So I've got two dischargers. I've got one over here uh, that I also have hooked up. And this one, this one got 2089 milliamp hours so go 2089 and he goes in the box connect another battery up and get it started so we'll do the same with this one reset the discharger to discharge and press and hold and we're off so that's what it takes just keep it up don't give up it takes a while uh, when you're done with this then we can figure out what kind of battery we're going to build to replace something um, i've got some projects that i want to put lithium-ion batteries using these 18650s to replace 
like uh, a lead acid battery and something. So it'll be cool. Stay tuned for another video where I break down how to size putting multiple of these together to build any kind of battery pack that we could ever need. So uh, stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Uh, let me know. Comments. Uh, subscribe if you want so you can you know, get the latest update whenever the new videos come out. I'm going to try to do that you know, at least one a week. Alright, God bless.